Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Moscow, Russia. Now today we're going to go see something a little bit different. So if you are a subscriber to the channel, you know that I tend to kind of get out and about in Moscow as much as I can. And today I've come to Auto Tuning Show. Yes, I've come to a car show or car exhibition here in Moscow. Now, in my endeavors to try to diversify the channel and travel around as much as I can, Auto Tuning Show 2022, I managed to get a pass to come in. Thankfully, the people are really nice here. I think I'm the only Australian to come and visit this uh, over the course of four days. So we're going to go check it out. We're going to go see some very nice cars. So <laughs> let's go. So while I've been living here in Russia for the last 12 months, I've done my best to try to come to a few different conventions. Now, this is actually Corker City Convention Center where we're at here. This is actually just one of the convention rooms. But uh, today, or over the course of four days, they've got a car exhibition, car parts convention going on uh, in different halls here. So I've managed to come in and check out the auto tuning section and my uh, lack of knowledge of cars is gonna show out very, very, very much. So unfortunately, if you're a car lover, you're probably gonna like this video. If not, you're gonna be very lost. I'm gonna do a bit of a walk around and check out as many of these very nice cars as I can. So my uh, goal actually today, today's the 24th of August and it's six months since sanctions started in Russia. Now, just when I was coming in here, I talked to one of the girls who gave me my ticket, and she said that's their biggest challenge at the moment is getting parts for these cars, is importing uh, some of the circuit boards, microchips, and now that six months of sanctions have kind of come into play in Russia, it really is starting to be a problem for these kind of auto show car uh, lovers, I guess. Check this Audi here. Check out the paint job on this thing. BMW over here. Another Audi here. Looks like it's got a wrap on it of some kind. I'm not sure. But there's some very, very expensive cars here now. I was told that this McLaren here is the most expensive car in the exhibition. This orange McLaren, check this thing out. This thing is shiny, let me tell you. It's kind of interesting. So there's a, a Golf GTI here, and then right in front of it is the McLaren. Check that out. It's got like a, like a velvet kind of plush interior. My gosh. So this is the most expensive car at the show. Uh, before I came in, there was a very nice lady who spoke very good English and explained a little bit about some of the cars, but being that I'm not particularly a car guy, it makes it very tough. But uh, I can definitely be impressed by some of these. Check out this Mercedes right here. This is some serious money. Man, that McLaren is very nice. The thing with the McLaren though, you don't have any boot space. I mean, where are you gonna put your shopping from the supermarket on a Friday afternoon, you know, that's the thing. You, you need something with a bit more boot space. This BMW, wow. Wow, I'm a little bit lost for words on what to say about some of these cars because they're just amazing, really. It's uh, very, very impressive. Nissan here. So there's a lot of imported, is this a Lamborghini? I think it is. Yes. She didn't even show me this one. We walk right past it. My gosh. Check that out. Yeah, there's some uh, very nice cars. There's not a lot of people here, by the way. I mean, this is the first day of the event. Actually, it started officially yesterday. It's kind of always confusing with these conventions in Moscow, uh, what day they actually start and finish. Because there's kind of like press days, there's public days, there's, you know, car owners days. This uh, car right here. 
A lot of these tend to have custom uh, badges on them, so you don't actually even know what model they were previously, you know, so... Wow. It's classic BMW. And they have another McLaren parked here as well. They don't have the doors open on this one, unfortunately, but... And it's not in that orange color, is it? I mean, the classic colors. But look at the carbon fiber on this. The bonnet has all the carbon fiber, the wing mirrors. Wow. This is a car. I think it's got the rear engine. What do they call the mid-engines? Now, this car might look familiar to some. I'm not sure to others, depending on how much of a car fan you are, but this is meant to be a Cybertruck. Yes, a Cybertruck, but it's got nothing to do with uh, Tesla whatsoever. So it's basically a body shell over the top of another car, which is just kind of crazy. So I was just duly informed that this is actually a Toyota Tundra with a body kit that's been essentially welded over the top of it. So Toyota's done a very good job, uh, well, Whoever the guy was that modified this, let's say, it, uh, it's completely street legal, it's licensed, it's registered, but it's not in any way a cyber truck. But they basically put a body kit over the top of a Toyota Tundra. So they actually have a few larders here as well. And this one here, check out how lowered this thing is. I think it's a little bit hard to kind of get an idea of how low this thing sits on the ground. I mean, how would you go with speed bumps in that thing? Come on. And check out this one here. Luxury for its number plates. But these are very nice. Some of these uh, larders actually have uh, the cars kitted out with different speakers and sound systems in them. So, yeah. Check out this uh, paint job on it as well. These uh, numbers on the windows here are the competition numbers, so uh, these are all entered into competitions over the course of the event as well, so they can win prizes and they can get trophies. And check out this Bentley here as well. Now, <laughs> you come to a car show, you could have washed the car. Have a look at the bonnet, I mean, it's like an aluminum uh, finish. It's very strange, it's like aluminum, al aluminum, come on, aluminum. Yeah, it's a... Uh, very nice car, but it could have had a wash before it got here. I wonder if that's the look they're going for, I wonder. And check this one out right here with the wrap on it. Wow. Yeah, there are some very nice cars here, let me say. This BMW uh, four-wheel drive. It's got the, the spare tire on the roof there, the LED light strip. Wow, tow hitch. I don't know how much this is going to get bogged in Moscow, but you never know. And check out the Transformers car here, the Bumblebee. Kitted out in the yellow. Wow. How nice is that? Camaro. It's even got the Transformers badge right on the side. Check that out. And there's a very nice classic BMW here as well. This thing looks very nice also. Yeah, oh, look at this, the Russian car, the Volga. Volga station wagon too. Wow. Look how lower this thing is as well. It's almost, uh, I don't know, is it really drivable that low down, I wonder? 1975, it's got a sticker there on the, on the badge. Yeah, it's really very, very nice. And check out the American truck here, a bit of American muscle at the Russian car show. Dodge Ram, check this thing out, wow. American muscle car, or well, muscle truck, let's call it. The guy there is polishing it, he likes his truck, I think. This thing is a beast. Such, so out of place here in uh, Russia, but you know, you see these on the road uh, all the time and you wonder, you know, the cost they must have paid to have this imported from the US. And check it out, all the different models of cars over here. I, I think maybe this is going to run a little bit long, I don't know, but there's some pretty impressive cars to check out. I mean, we've come to a car show, we're making a video about cars, so check this one out. I think this is a Russian classic car in some form. How big the windows are on it, wow. 
Now I was informed that these few cars right in front of me here are all lady car owners. And actually probably judging by the colors, I think so too. And they're apparently they're very famous Russian vloggers or bloggers or YouTubers. But uh, check this out. Look at those colors on them, wow. I'm not sure which model of car some of these are, but pretty impressive. Toyota Supra, there we go, right on the badge. But the, uh, if you have a look at the number plates on this, 444, so there's a bit of a thing in Russia where you can pay a lot of thousands of dollars for these different number plates based on the sequence of numbers on them. So yeah, it's uh, they're pretty impressive. Check out this. This was apparently the winner last year, the lady was telling me. I'm not too sure. Uh, maybe he was in, I think it was in a certain category that he, he won. He doesn't have a bonnet holder, so he's just using a machine gun for his bonnet holder. So that's kind of interesting. Very Russian style. Check this one out, Ford Market. That's a pretty interesting car. And as we walk around a little bit more here, we've missed a few of these Mercedes and BMWs, but the amount of money here, I mean, if you were to add up the price of it, even one or two of these cars would be in the, you know, the tens of millions of rubles, I mean, in terms of dollars, I mean, you're looking at hundreds of thousands of dollars in terms of the sheer exchange rate. Just the thing here in Russia is to consider the, the rarity of them. Actually, this is a Tesla right here. Check this out with the wrap on it. That's kind of a neat car, isn't it? Yeah, I wonder if these are all the electric cars that are here on the one lane here. Hmm. It looks awfully like it because I'm pretty sure this Audi is also one of the electric cars as well. Now I'm hoping the music hasn't got too loud because I'm right near the uh, main stage over here, off in the distance, but some pretty neat uh, touring cars here, or I guess race cars of some form, I'm not sure. But uh, check these things out. There's an Audi, this is a Porsche. Oh, okay, there's the car I like. I'm not sure if I like all the stickers on them though, you know, I mean, it's, there's kind of flexing and then there's flexing. Now I'm not too sure if this Volga is street legal, but Check out the uh, suspension on it right there. I wonder if, they can, if that's drivable and they can just pop that up like that. Or it's just for show, I wonder. But it's pretty neat. And then all of these different Audis right here. Now, if anyone is a follower of the channel, you'll know that in one of my recent videos, I did actually show you the Aris car dealership, which is the Russian uh, dealership that the uh, presidential cars are made from Aris. But these are Rolls Royce. These are the real thing. Everyone told me that Aris is like the knockoff of Rolls Royce. And you know, you can see a lot of similarities, but check out how big these Rolls Royces are. This is, this is a car and a half. My gosh. Check out those wheels even. Yeah, this is an absolute beast of a vehicle. Now they told me that that McLaren was the most expensive vehicle in here, but this Rolls Royce would have to come awfully close. I don't know. You know the good thing, right? If you own one of these luxury cars and you wanted to come to the convention, you just let them know that you've got a fancy car, they'll give you free parking. Oh, look at the G-Wagon right here. Red G-Wagon. Now this is an expensive car in Russia as well, let me tell you. You do see a lot of these in Moscow center, not typically in red, they're mostly in black and then they got the blacked out windows, but Check out this red color. This is really that uh, Ferrari red almost, isn't it? And here's another Lamborghini. Wow. Now, these videos that I'm making like this at conventions mean my knowledge is retail. It's merchandising, it's uh, logistics around retail, uh, not necessarily cars. So, uh, kind of coming to these car places or car shows, let me say. Uh, I'm kind of thrown off completely. Here's another Porsche. My gosh. Check this thing out. This is very nice. 
This BMW, uh, sorry, Volkswagen right here is also nice. I'm not sure about the uh, the wrap on it though, but this Porsche is absolutely delicious. Now I think while I walk around a little bit here, right, there's, I think there's obviously quite a few different press and vloggers and bloggers here, but there's obviously a few car enthusiasts. I'm pretty sure coming up to the weekend, there'll be a lot more general public in here. But, you know, I think you've really got to be a car lover. I mean, I am, I like cars, I mean, but check out this G-Wagon. My God, look at how tall this thing is. If I just come down to kind of normal height out here, this thing is a beast. And more of the cars over here. Again, there's uh, kind of a lack of badges on them, so I don't really recognize all the models. I think this is a Ford GT, I think. But uh, I'm not 100% sure on all of these. But they definitely look good. I mean, check it out. So I had to come back to this larder here with the speaker system in it, and they put the uh, music on, so I don't know how loud it's coming across, but seems to have attracted a fair bit of attention from everybody here uh, checking it out because it's got some serious speakers in the door of this thing, like really, truly. Everybody wants to uh, get a photo with it and uh, yeah, check it everybody here. It's a very neat, nice car. Oh, he's got the air uh, suspension as well. Wow. <laughs> Check that out. So amongst all of the uh, very new, amazing, expensive cars, there's some classic Russian cars here. Here's one of the Volgas, which uh, is very, very nicely restored. Now, if you walk down pretty much any suburban street in uh, Moscow, you'll almost find one of these parked up. Tires are flat, it's rusting. Somebody's essentially abandoned it, but some people take care of these. They fully restore them, and it's just, uh, it's kind of interesting that all the younger people aren't looking at this, but then you get the older guys, the dads, that really want to have a look and uh, check it out. Uh, there's another uh, Russian car here. And what's very, very famous in a lot of the Russian cars is the carpet on the uh, back of the uh, seats here. You'll see them in especially some of the cars, the older Russian owners have them. And then back here you've got the kind of the old and the new. BMW, Audi, another one right here. Look at this with the, with the wrap on it. Holy smoke. Okay, everybody, so we've had our walk around the uh, car exhibition, I guess you would call it. Uh, it was very neat, uh, really, to see some very, very, very expensive cars. It's really uh, something to kind of behold, I guess. Uh, there is a lot of money in Moscow. I mean, there's, this is evidence of it. I mean, you know, Moscow isn't Russia. Russia isn't Moscow. I get that. I hear it a lot. But coming here to see these cars really is kind of amazing really uh thanks for watching traveling with russell thanks for coming on another uh tour with me of the conventions in moscow i wonder what's next cars helicopters bread exhibitions so i'm gonna go ahead off on another tour right now i'll see you in another video everybody bye